It happened on a Friday night. When I came home from work, I texted my friends and told them to grab a drink with me, but they didn't feel like doing anything this weekend. I'm 24, and all my friends started working too, so I understand that they wanted to stay at home, be cozy, and just relax. I was home alone at the time, sitting all by myself, and then something just came to my mind. I just wanted to drive somewhere. So I got in the car again and drove for a while. Then I tried to find a spot to park my car to have a smoke. There was an underground parking lot that was placed in a one-way street. It was around 11.30 p.m. Even though it was a big city, there wasn't much activity around this area. After smoking, I walked back to the parking lot through the dark, small streets. But I was getting anxious and thought to myself, what if someone is following me? I'm out here all alone. So I turned up the pace and reached the parking lot. There was nobody at the parking lot, so I was relieved. But at that very moment, someone behind me shouted loudly. <laughs> I got the chills and the hairs on the back of my head stood up. I slowly turned around and there was this huge guy in a hoodie. He came to me and started talking. He was talking about how he just came out of prison and that his wife changed the locks on the doors. I noticed that his right hand was in the pocket of his hoodie. I swear I saw the outline of an object in that pocket. I immediately thought it was a knife. Crap, this is not supposed to happen. I'm gonna die in here, I thought to myself. With a quivering voice, I told him very politely that I had to run the graveyard shift at work so that I could leave, and that was when his voice started to change. He angrily said, No, you have to help me. I reached in my pocket and took out $30. That was the only money I had on me, and I just handed it to him. He took the money, but became angrier and shouted, Hey, man, is this the only money you've brought? He took another step and was much closer to me. But what happened next was a miracle. A loud sound came from a door that was shut outside the parking lot. He got distracted and turned his head around. And that is when I rushed to the elevators. It was a separate room which was only accessible to people who parked their cars there because the door could only be opened with the parking receipt. I got into the elevator safely, but then I heard his loud footsteps behind me. I ran to my car, got in and started it. I slowly pulled up to the gate and it opened. Although I could see the guy charging at me when I tried to get out of the parking lot, it was too late for him. I stepped on the gas and drove away as fast as I could, and it only took me 15 minutes because I was using too much gas. To this day, I can't stop thinking about what would have happened if that door outside the parking lot wouldn't have made that loud noise. <laughs>